a heartwarming, comedic, and dramatic story about Sato Kotaro. A four-year-old kid that leaves on his own. A four-year-old. A freaking four-year-old. It's normal in Japan that kids go on their own to school or other places by themselves. But a four-year-old kid living on his own is an anomaly. Well, that's how a work of fiction is. And that's the great thing about it. This anime is both bitter and sweet at the same time. Not only can they touch you on a personal level, but they can also. Anyways Kotaro is actually very mature, shrewd, and experienced at such a young age. He can do a lot of chores, act and speak like an adult. Understand others emotionally, etc. But in the end, he's still a child. One example is when Kotaro thought that this pregnant woman's big belly was a result of binge eating. Kotaro lives in an apartment together with his three neighbors. A manga artist, a hostess, and a gangster. He is hoping that one day he could live with his parents. Little does he know that his mother already passed away. Later in the episodes, it was revealed that the mother was seemingly disgusted towards Kotaro, going even far to use gloves in feeding or bathing him. The father is actually the one who cares for Kotaro. But unfortunately, because of his abusive nature, he was put on a restrictive order. Hopefully this anime gets another season. Aside from me wanting to see more of Kotaro and the others, I also want to see more context on Kotaro's parents. Shin Karino, the mangaka. He is the one who acts like a parent or guardian to Kotaro. It's really wholesome how he always accompany Kotaro on the way to the bathhouse and his school. Mizuki Akatomo, a night hostess that also helps in taking care of Kotaro. Unfortunately because of her abusive boyfriend, she eventually moves out. Isamu Tamaru, a gangster who is separated with his wife and child. Because of Isamu's appearance and behavior, his former wife does not let him see his child. She probably fears that Isamu might influence his son. But oh boy, this was funny. <laughs> Since he is away from his son, he finds himself doting on Kotaro, and the kid is adorably annoyed by it. It somehow reminds me of the Yakuza's Guide to Babysitting that'll be airing this year. I'm also highly anticipating this anime. These characters are only the starter pack. There are more to this anime that you would definitely love. I genuinely thought at first that the anime would have a low-quality animation based on the visual, but I guess. I had judged it by its cover, the animation was okay. I also believe that the story is unpredictable. There were moments where I thought I knew what will happen, but then something different occurs. Lastly, from what I can conclude, the story and cast of characters are superb. The series could make you laugh for its comedic aspect. <laughs> <laughs> make you reflect your own life, and it could definitely make you feel the misfortune of the characters within it.